Hey guys, HPV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some new Indigo Disc DLC leaks to go over for the second part of the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. We have a few other bits and bobs to take a look at as well. Plenty of things to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at today is this tweet here from Riddler Koo with an image of Arceus and the terrestrialized form of Terrapagost saying whose BST is higher. So basically, whose base stat total is higher. So, when you take a look at Arceus, the god of all Pokemon, I do believe it has the highest base stat total of all Pokemon barring any forms and stuff like that so Arceus currently sits at 720 I think it's got like 120 in every single stat which is absolutely ridiculous so that's the base stat total of Arceus now Riddler Koo is here saying whose BST is higher so for them to introduce Terrapagos with a higher base stat total that means that Terrapagos would want to be it would be one of the best Pokemon in the game because there are forms who have higher base stat totals than Arceus. If you take Mega Rayquaza, for example, I think that base stat total is like 780. It's obviously 60 higher than Arceus. But that's in its Mega Evolution form. Now, Terrapagos is a form. This is a Terra form of Terrapagos. So, it being a form means that it could potentially have a higher base stat total than Arceus, just because in the past we've had Pokemon forms which have had higher base stat total than Arceus. So it does make sense. It's not like this is a standalone Pokemon. Like the baby form of Terrapagos or the original form is most likely not going to have a higher base stat total than Arceus. It's probably going to be some sort of like Cosmog situation where it's just like this small legendary Pokemon, but it can evolve or become a much bigger Pokemon, which is arguably like one of the best in the game so yeah don't think the original form of terrapagos is going to be anywhere near 70 20 uh, bst but the terra form of terrapagos very well could be we also found out recently that terrapagos's ability is going to be a defensive ability which may also add to like if it's going to be like really really good and competitive like if it has a higher base stat total than arceus so if it's higher than 720 and it has an ability that is defensive then that makes terrapagos arguably one of the best walls in the game because it's going to have a defensive ability and it's going to and i'm assuming it's base that total will be high in its defenses because it's a literal turtle it has a massive shell um so yeah it would be kind of interesting if it does have a higher base that total than um than uh, arceus it'd be interesting if like equal was also an option but obviously that isn't like he doesn't say whose base that title is higher uh, whose base that total is higher or are they equal or something like that so that's not so it's not like Serapagos is going to have 720 because otherwise he would have said is it going to be equal so yeah what do you guys think do you think that Serapagos is going to have a higher base stat total than Arceus um and if you do do you think uh it's going to be like a crazy amount more or just maybe like a little bit more and also, do you think it is arguably going to be one of the best Pokemon in the game with its defensive ability as well if it does have a higher base stat total? Let me know your thoughts on all that. Um, but uh, it'd be it'd be kind of interesting, but also it'd be a bit harsh on Arceus, but it, it'd still be the, the highest base stat total Pokemon without a, uh, a form. But either way, that's the first thing that I wanted to go over. The next thing that I wanted to take a look at is still talking about Terrapagos, but it's now about the typing. We, we don't know the name of the ability. We just know it's defensive. We know that... The original form of Terrapagos ability is unaffected by neutralizing gas, um, which is obviously Galarian Weezing's ability. We just don't know the typing. Now, I don't believe we're going to find the typing out. And again, I'm recording this before any kind of trailer is dropped. I don't think we're going to find the typing of it out until the Indigo Disc drops, just like we got with the Teal Mask and Ogre Pond and um, the, the, the Loyal Three or whatever you want to call them, the Disloyal Three. Um, but this is a good kind of idea on what it potentially could be. So uh, this was obviously a tweet that Riddler Koo posted a while ago saying or other possibilities, and it was the original form of Terrapagos with the normal typing, the psychic typing, the rock typing, and the dragon typing, and is saying, you know, any of these or other possibilities. So we have Soul Silver out here saying, okay, hear me out. So all three Paradox Beasts are probably going to be dragon type. I mean, it's very, very likely. Uh, Walking Wake is Water Dragon. Raging Bolt is Electric Dragon. It makes sense that Paradox Entei is going to be Fire Dragon. All three Paradox Swords are probably going to be Psychic type. 
you know, we've got Iron Leaves and Iron Crown that do both have the Psychic type, so it would make sense that Terrakion's Paradox form is also going to be Psychic type. So uh, we then see uh, we then see Soul Silver saying so. Terrapagos typing could potentially be Dragon Psychic, and it could be a bit of a hint from the two Paradox Pokemon um, showing like their new kind of like dual typing being Terrapagos typing, because obviously Dragon and Psychic are two of the options as well um, for. The, the Terrapagos that Ridley has posted here. So, obviously, we, we don't know the typing, but I, I think it'd be kind of cool if that was a bit of a hint with the Paradoxes, um, and it was kind of like showing us all along what Terrapagos' typing was uh, was going to be. We also have uh, Geros here saying, I still believe a logical answer is if normal is dragon, uh, is if the normal form is Dragon Psychic, Terrestrial form is Dragon Rock, then the final form could be the 19th Terra type. This would back the theory Terrapagos is a uh, Demiurge-like being, uh, lending pieces of itself uh, to the creation of the paradoxes. I agree. I just saw this connection and thought it was interesting. So, yeah, I mean, the, the different Terrapagos forms could all be different typings as well. We we just simply don't know. We still know nothing about this 19th Terra type as well. I definitely think in the next trailer they might go a little bit more into detail about it. Um, but as of right now, yeah, we, we don't really know anything else about it. Um, so, yeah, I feel like they will incorporate that 19th Terra type into uh, one of the Terrapagos forms. Uh, because I feel like obviously it is the embodiment of terrestrial energy so it, it has to have something to do with the 19 terror type you'd like to think but that is just something that potentially could be the typing in regards to uh, the paradox beast and the swords of uh, uh, the swords of justice paradoxes so that's that uh, moving on we actually have this uh, from 4chan which is quite an interesting um, uh, take but at the same time it very well could be could be true um, so basically this is taken from um, obviously sun and moon so the first image uh, we have this um, book here in this in this bookcase saying uh, there are many writings about the interdream zone that exists between reality and dreams. So a zone which is between reality and dreams, and that is called the interdream zone, and that could be foreshadowing what Terrapagos maybe comes from, or like the paradoxes come from, or something like that. And then when we talk to this professor here, he says, Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the interdream zone. So they clearly are talking about this new like discovery, this interdream zone, and they've been researching and stuff like that in Alola. And of course, um, when we go to the Paradox book, um, or the, the Scarlet or Violet book, should I say, and you go to the page of Terrapagos, it says a disc Pokemon, while separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Uh, whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, uh, viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. So Heath obviously was he he got lost in Area Zero, and you know there's, there's countless tellings in this book where you know he was writing something and he didn't even remember writing it and he, 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 he imagined him like talking and he was talking to someone as well who wasn't there and then obviously he saw this disc pokemon as well like all of these different things happened and it could have very well been in the interdream zone and it could be a massive connection to um to terrapagos as well uh we also have zany here saying wait but this is just referencing her debut game of pokemon dream radar which could also be a reference to black and white as well with the dream radar and then we also have Nathan here saying, um, Dreams, Terrapagos gives a life to imaginary Pokemon, which is the Paradox Pokemon. Truths, Arvin describes the Paradox Mons as imaginary when talking about Sala slash Turo. And then Ideals, what the Paradox Pokemon should be described as said in the uh, in the book. But um, yeah, I kind of like this idea. Obviously, it's just a theory at the end of the day from 4chan, but it does kind of link the games. And we do have previous pokemon games always like hinting at future pokemon games we just don't know their hints until the next pokemon game comes out so uh, it'll be very interesting if we do go to this inter dream zone it could have even just been describing the bottom layers of area zero we don't know but uh, either way very very interesting nonetheless i feel like if the blueberry academy was also located in alola it would really help this theory out as well but obviously that's not the case and then finishing things off we also have this post here which i didn't even know was a thing um and i don't think many people did but basically once you complete the pokedex you actually unlock like new cutscenes with like different characters and one of them with Arvin is, is very interesting so we have Soul Silver out here saying after I finished the decks didn't even realize there was dialogue between us and our rivals that completes their stories so I did all of that and I finally had that conversation with Arvin about the paradox 
For months, I've been leaning towards Paradox Pokemon actually being from the past or future and the time machine actually bringing them to our time. But rereading this conversation again really convinced me that Game Freak put this dialogue in here on purpose to either suggest that the truth is the professor's imagination is becoming a reality or they did the classic Game Freak thing that they just put those lines in here to put doubt in our minds about what we already uh, just heard about the time machine just to leave it open-ended for us to speculate forever. I wrote this a few days ago and I almost posted it yesterday morning and I wish I did because Q went on to uh, lean even more into the imagination theory being true. However, I still think Game Freak might do a similar thing at the end of DLC 2 and never tell us the answers but instead leave us with more things to speculate on. Um, so this is obviously what Riddler Q said here is just a question. If you use fiction uh, power to create a time machine uh, and then use that time machine to some paradoxes, how would you call this? Um, and then obviously this is what Soul Silver out here is saying. This would kind of be a paradox, wouldn't it? This is exactly the scenario I was trying to explain last night where it could be both, but somehow uh, QESL said it much better and clearer than me. Anyway, I still don't think he's outright saying this is a true answer. He says it's just a question, just asking crazy people like me making it's both theories. So this is obviously what Arvin says in the, uh, in the dialogue here. So he says, the book is from way before he made the time machine, but it mentions future Pokemon. Wait, hold on. Isn't my dad's time machine the whole reason the future Pokemon ended up here? I bet he got so fixated that the future Pokemon he read about in here that it made him want to... Um, but my dad believed that nonsense and never imagined uh, and even imagined to make it a reality. And, he, and after everything we saw in Area Zero, well, it makes it hard to say it's all nonsense. Oh, well, I'm sure it's just all made up anyway. So he's kind of talking about them being imaginary, them being made up. So, I mean, we'll get the answers to them, hopefully, in the Indigo Disc. But, um, yeah, whether they are actually from different dimensions, different times, like periods, the future or the past, or they are just being created from imagination, we'll have to wait and find out. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on everything we covered in today's video. Uh, what are your thoughts on this question here? Who do you think has the higher BST or do you think it's going to be um, still Arceus? Let me know your thoughts on that. Your thoughts on the typing. Thoughts on this as well. And then obviously thoughts on uh, what do you think paradoxes are? Do you think they're imaginary or not? But yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.